I'm going to test, uh, test I do the current on the device is about 200 milliamp, 170 milliampere, dead short. So 170 with this type of ballast arrangements, the MOT will not burn out. It will warm up a little bit, but not uh, burn out. Um, I'm going to create a little uh, unplug safety first. Now let's see if it works now. Plug in. Belts itself in. Uh, we just go back a bit, tip this a bit more. I'll put this down, we unplugged. Careful as this. Now that it melts. Red hot when we melt. A bit of wind. We do, we're gonna zap this out and adjust the device. Yeah, that's actually bad. So I've got all the meters, watt meter and meter in the beginning. That's a dead short. 92, 92 watts. Well, 170, 180 milliampere, and I got the electrode shorted. And um, MOT will sustain it for a while. It won't go up and smoke, let's say it that way. Unplug safety first. Okay, now I've got the door to arc. Give us the arc door more power, 100, 304 watts. Right, 160, 170, and this is just arcing on a little loop of 1 mil. A strong wind at the moment, so it's. Uh, One mil and a little loop of one mil. As the arc gets longer, uh, the temperature increases. 120 watts, there we go. Evaporated. Open circuits. Uh, the no load current is about 50, 54 watts. I'll do them on shots. And I'll go on details about the device here. This is the HV device. It's still energized. We've got two pilot lights on there. They just run on the filament winding. Or I'll rewind the top one. And I'll switch off now and then I'll go in details. Just a plug. And the lead comes in here. Active. Goes through into the ballast. Brown comes out of the ballast. Goes to here, transformator 1, transformator 2, neutral, light blue, neutral from the other one, goes back to the neutral and goes back to there and it goes back to the plug. So that's the HV, sorry, that's the LV side 240 volts or 120 if you're in the States. Principle is the same. The whole idea is a ballast, and this comes out of an old uh, Roadster streetlight. 250 watts, or 250 VA, it will limit the current. If you don't have a limit the current on two unshunted microwave transformers, unshunted, they will burn out in seconds, 10-15 seconds. Now, by this ballast, you could try a different one, you could do a 150 if you want less current, you can put maybe put a 400 on there. But you need to monitor the currents and the heat dissipation in these uh, transformateurs because they will burn out otherwise. So these are on top of each other. I have done pretty rough, a bit of copper wire, wire here and I'll actually glue them together. So you got 2.2 kV of one transformateur, 2.2 kV in another transformateur. They're both in series. Give me 4.4 kV. It's adequate to work with a lot of things. HV leads are taken out here by means of some wagos. Um, then the HV terminals haven't labeled them yet, so the HV terminals come out here, 
and this rough setup for showing you guys is just the air meter and I've got my little wasp test cell here which is just a bit of plastic PVC perspex whatever and when I catch my wasps I had to catch them by hand and I use just a food container for that to catch them it's easy to catch a little watt meter if you guys uh, want to know where you can get these you find them on eBay USA type in uh, LCD watt meter M meter whatever and they'll, they'll find they've got a little CT in here so it's actually right it can go up to 100 amps I just used up to 20 amps max so yeah, that's about it and I'll do a little schematic but um, it's very simple no rectifiers, no capacitors, so you could put a voltage doubler on here. They have a voltage doubler with also limited output, which is good, so you don't blow things up too, too quick. Because MOTs, they, uh, they don't like sustained overloads. Yeah, it works fine, 160 milliampere. I've got a wasp here, so we're going to get rid of it shortly. One mil melting, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Show the reading. Well, it's concept Q and it worked well. I don't want to melt my casing or de-energize because my plastic starts to melt. De-energize device. My support is uh, perishing slowly. Stop camera. Let's go out of wasp in here. I see it and I'm gonna shake it and then uh, I'll put it in. Wasp confused. They're bloody tough these things. Not in a tweezer, not sure it wants to sting or shaking it quite a bit. Now it needs recovery time. The wasp is in there, yeah, it's still alive. They're tough buggers these things. They don't give up now, it will clean itself, there's a letter we cover for you, there you go, it started the engine already and it's moving. So we're going to give it a zap, shortly I'll keep my plug closed and uh, reactivate the device when we're ready. But yeah, these paper wasps are set in a few times, they are declared pests in New Zealand and they do a huge amount of damage to our local uh, insect life here. Push it towards closer. Give it a little tingle. Doesn't do it yet. Got a nice green eye. Stay on the other side. When that melts away. The step potential will increase, and the wasp will get oh, nice colours. Yeah, there we go, a bit of arc out just there, and hopefully the wasp will so activation here. Yeah, the uh, wasp is being de-energized shortly. Getting hot, it's getting hotter. Our plastic is ah, it melts, it melts, we'll fix it. The wasp is expired, I'm going to relocate the wasp, de-energize device. Energize device. Box is being cremated, green flames, beautiful. I'll de energize shortly, stand by. De energize device. Unplug safety first. So I'll draw, draw up the connections. Um,
H3 vining. Anti-parallel, as I said, these uh, transformers are back-to-back, -back, bonded together here. So the dot denominates the position of the wiring, the primary wiring, or the 240 volt wiring. LV, so that's 240, or 120 in America, so that is uh, 4.4 total. 4.4 kV total, 240 volts, they both go in parallel, but again, uh, to get it to work you make a cross polarize, po polarize at ease, so the dot, dot will be on this side, the dot will be on that side, active, active, neutral. That's that part. Then both actives. L, that's the ballast. That goes to the active. And the neutral, so that could be 120 or 240, whatever part of the world you live, and that should work. So, review again the two transformers are anti parallel wired, so you got 2.2 kV, 2.2 kV, that's the way the wires are wound, they're both bolted together, LV winding, and to get it going you could swap these two terminals as you see here I've got brown on the bottom one sit on the far end winding brown is here on the front winding light blue is on the back and the other light blue was gray here that is on the on the front part so yeah you know, if it doesn't work in your case just swap swap one of the LV windings is easiest and of course the series inductor that is the ballast and it will limit the current so you Microwave oven transformers don't go up in smoke in seconds, and uh, I've had this running for quite a while, it seems to be running fine, so it doesn't burn the transformers out. And it will work for Wasp Zappa very well, and I've done a wet zap with it as well, which I'll quickly demonstrate, well I'm not going to demonstrate it, but these two wires here, they go on here, and I didn't fail on that, I got this web zapper here because we've got wet. I feed the possums here, possums are fine, rats come out of the tree, climb over here, trip, 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 4.4 kV, the rats, bzzz, it went down and sparks under his legs, but uh, I didn't video that, unfortunately. So we have another rat, we'll uh, zap it. Water zap, 4400. And just as an appendix on this video, I just uh, mentioned de-shunting a mod, well I got a normal unshunted mod. Uh, no, it's actually shunted mod. You get rid of these viny these laminations, they look like this. They sit in between uh, the coal pack and the winding pack just to reduce fault current on the device. So you take those out and on this particular zapper, I'm not sure if you can see it, but in the middle where the where the green wire sits, where the, the wire for the LED the just the air gap and otherwise you have these uh, these uh, stacks of uh, iron sheets in between there so it's quite important to take those out otherwise you'll let a zapper there'll be a lot more voltage drop across these two transformers more burden on the ballast so and it won't be working as effective so yeah just as I'll add it in at the end so yeah, de-shunting the mod means you take these laminate you need to do it carefully without damaging the windings uh, flat say M5 M4 piece of shaft and you can tap those out carefully thanks for watching hopefully uh, if you build one of these things uh, build it safely and also the thing what they say was unplug safety first that is is important that you always get pull this plug out of the socket so just have a physical gap because high voltage is uh, not forgiving it will jump so yeah it 
you can't put a switch on there, just physically unplug it. Okay, cheers. Rodolco 2007.